Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, we are here in West Bay in front of Nedrick Ironheart, who has the Weaponsmith of Legend. This is uh, also something I have recorded before, but I have missed a little bit. So let's do it again. Uh, how fast we're adventuring of late. You're holding up against the rigors of a trade? Make no mistake, my friend, the quality of your weapon may well prove the difference between life and death. If you're serious about such things, there's someone I can introduce you to. Her name is Ravena, and she's a collector of all manner of rare artifacts. She just might have something on her stock to suit your martial prowess. Ravena used to do business in Uldar, but has since relocated to Revenant's Toll, so as to be nearer to the ancient ruins from which she derives her livelihood. Should you ever have reason to go there, you'd do well to pay her a call. Ravenna. I read uh, Ravenna was the first NPC merchant they introduced in uh, 1.0, so uh, the original Final Fantasy XIV before the reset. And she indeed was back then in Ulda. A voice with game only work with a player trait. Okay. Here in the northest point of Revenant's Hall is Ravenna. A friend of Nedrick's, are you? Then you must be an adventurer of some skill. My business relies on capable people such as you. As a gesture of goodwill, I'm going to share with you a morsel of information. There's this bloke named Gerald. Makes his living in weapons and armor and whatnot. They say his skill is the finest in all the realm. Might be as it's a gun to his head, though. Folks don't take to the man if you're getting my meaning. Oh, and he likes a drink and all. Bloody buyer got himself in the forge, though. As a young lad, he was cast out on his ear by his master for the crime of crafting finer wares, and that while pissed drunk. Ever since he roamed here and there, earning his keep day and day to day. Aye, I've known Gerald ever since I landed in this business, and seen him for a while, though. And the last thing, I, and the last time I did, the old fool had tears in his eyes and snot dripping from his nose. Fallen on hard times, he said. Ask for a bit of coin to tide him over. Never paid him back neither. Couldn't say for sure where he's now. Seemed to remember he when he was in the Black Shroud putting up at Hearthstone or some such place. You might do well to commission his work. He'll even reforge the relics of old if you make it worth his while. And then no other in Eorzea as can do that. If it's relics you care to know about, I have a promise of payment what might catch your fancy. It don't look like much, but it'll get old Gerald to fire up his forge. That much, I promise. Now we need to go to Hurstman in the North Shroud. Of course, not a place with an Aetherite, because that would be too easy. Okay, Master Gerald. Got business with me, have you, adventure? And there'd better be coin or drink in it, elsewise bugger off back to wherever it was you came from. Restoration work on an old weapon, you say? <laughs> what makes you think I'd fire up a forge for a grimy old... A slip of parchment signed by the weapon smith Gerald, documenting monies borrowed from Ravenna. Where, where the hell did you get this promise of payment? I ain't got no coin, I tell you. Nay, not a single bloody gill. God, just look at me. How far I've fallen. Me, the greatest weaponsmith of our age, hammering out dins and kettles to pay off a tavern debt. <laughs> can you even begin to grasp me humiliation? Can you? Of course you can't. Why did I even bother to ask? Alright, alright. I restore your bloody weapon. Just get that goddamn slip of paper out of my sight. The quest A Relic Reborn is now available from Gerald. The quest can only be undertaken and playing as one of the following jobs. Those are all the jobs that were available in original A Realm Reborn. In order to accept A Relic Reborn, you must first complete the level 50 quest or one of the previous mentioned jobs. Each job has its own A Relic Reborn quest, the completion of which will earn you the Relic Weapon for that job. 
Please note that you can only undertake one Relic Reborn quest at a given time. If you wish to acquire a different Relic Weapon, you must first either complete or abandon the current quest. And I start with my Ninja Weapon. Starts at le item level 80, which is already more than the level 70 I have currently. Just let me make one thing clear. It might be as I'm repairing kettles for pay of yesterday's meat, but I still got my pride as a master weaponsmith. You'll get no less of a finest out of me, Forge. And it might be as you've got that goddamn slip of paper, but it'll only get you so much. Restoring relics like these calls for some rare old materials, and I ain't got none. So if you want the job done, you'll have to run along to fetch them for me. So what it is you want restored? Fancy yourself a ninja, eh? Well, drown me in wine and call me a moogle. You'll be wanting a pair of Yoshimitsu then, won't you? That's two tricksy pieces of steel. I tell you only a few Eorzeans have ever heard the name. A few more know that old rhyme about a bloke what forged them. Map you are among them? No? Ah well, it goes something like this. There once was a far eastern smithy, well worse than making blades pretty. Far thicker than most, of his daggers he boasts, and its thrust was well known in the city. Hmm. Might be the prick in that poem ain't the point of no blade. Uh, anyway. The man forged fine steel what bears his name. Fact of it is his daggers have graced the hands of many a hero for an heir to a high house. You know, Yoshimitsu's daggers have been on me mind of late. Down at the tavern I heard something about Luminson raiding a Guardian ship and plundering a pair of blades from old. Seems the privateers has lost their boot even by when afoul of a fish bags, though. Now the whole thing reeks of grug and that ought to mean something coming from yours truly. But if there's an ounce of truth in the story, then your daggers will be somewhere in the subs sub spawning grounds. That is for all the uh, relic weapons for a realm reborn. You need to go to a beast tribe's location. Which one depends on the particular quest, but you either get you to the Sapsa spawning grounds, to the Ugamaro mines, to the uh, to Zaharak for in the Amalja territory, or Nadalan, the Ixal territory, or deep into the Silphlands, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe the Silphlands are, are excused from this because it doesn't really fit. Who knows? But one of these beast tribe territories is always. Also, there's an achievement for finishing each a Relic Reborn quest. Uh, I mean, for each quest separately, there is an there is a quest there there is an for each quest separate there is an achievement, and I believe there's also one for getting them all. And back to Gerald. You know, your Dimitri Jagger has been on my mind lately. It was the same text as last time. Well, bugger me. Never my wildest, dr drunkest dream did I imagine you actually find the bloody things. <sighs> so I have to fire up the forge after all. Having said that, the relic's in far worse shape than I thought. It ain't like to survive much pounding in this stage. Tooth, tooth be told, I'd worried about sneezing near it. Uh, we're gonna need a new hose that'll give itself for the restoration. You need to bring me a pair of vampire knives, ones with two great free heavens eye material mallet to them. 
will serve as a vessel for restored relic. Remember, that's two great free Heaven's Eye material. Or less, and you'll get naught from me, no matter how ma many slips of paper you wave in me face. Now, um... The Vampire's Knives. They're a craftable item, I believe. Yeah, Vampire's Knives is an alchemy recipe. All the crafting recipes you need for the uh, Relic Reborn quests are these uh, bloody weapons. You have a bloody knives um, or a blunt scimitar. It used to be that these items have to be found in treasure chests and dungeons or as rare rewards from guild levels. Um, but by now they are buyable from a merchant here in Gridania. Okay, to get our Vampire's Knife, that is a crafting recipe, in this case for the Alchemist, but uh, for other jobs it might be like the Champion's Lance for the Dragoon is a, is a Carpenter, or the Aeolian Scimitar is from a, from a Paladin. Oathnuff as well? Sanguine Scepter, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's, anyway, you need a crafting recipe or you need to buy the weapon at the auction house. And already this thing is better than what I have. <laughs> Ugh, it's, doesn't matter if it's high or low quality. I turn it in anyway. So... Where is my Heaven's Eye material? Well, they make no sense to input here. And back to the ninja. You need to bring me a pair of vampire knives with two great free materia. Heaven's Eye. Ah, it's fine base you've brought me. I just a thing to host your relic. I merge what's left of a relic with a host weapon, so the groundwork's done, but don't go jumping for joy just yet. There's still more to do. I need to work out the finishing touches, but due to the reinforcement work I've had to do, the weapon's proving rather stubborn to shape. To get round this, we'll be needing some alumina salt, a substance made by grinding a rock called alumina into fine grains. Unlucky for you, though, it ain't easy to get hold of. Maybe you already know this, but there's beasties out there who devour their prey whole, and some of them swallow rocks as to aid with digestion. The Dorm Chimera, what terrorizes the central highlands of Corphus, happens to swallow alumina salts for that purpose. Slave a bugger and bring me the alumina salt, and I'll see to the finishing touches of your weapon. You unlock the a well reborn chimera. This is actually a trial. Chimera. It's a Chimera. Very similar to other Chimera you fight throughout the game.
nothing special to see here. Okay, Gerald, you are sold. Just a dozen more cattle and it's off to the top. You again? What the seven else do you want this time? Your alumina salt. And of course the adventurer comes back triumphant. Uh, should have bloody known not even the Camaro would be able to put you out of your misery. Out of me, misery. And over those alumina swords and I get right to work. There, the deed's done. I squeezed out every ounce of my skill to restore your weapon, and I think you'll agree it'll look the part. Yet there's somewhat missing somehow. Well, I'm buggered if I know what. The piece just lacks a certain glow, as it were. We need to learn more about this relic. Literature, surround literature surrounding the hero associated with it would be a fine place to begin. But I ain't exactly a scholarly and haven't the slightest ink where to get me hands on such stuff. As much as I hate to say this, Ravenna is probably the one to talk to. Thing is, I'd sooner shove hot kettles up me ass sideways than owe that fry stamped Herodon another debt. You're gonna have to make yourself a useful once again. Take yourself to Ravenna and ask for her help. And return here once you've learned some of what might be of use. Okay, back to Mordona. You're looking a bit more run down than before. Your dealings with Gerald taking at all? Actually, forget I even asked. My mouth tastes so bile if I so much as think of a sorry specimen. Uh, so, is there something you need? Literature on the hero of old who once wielded your weapon? Hmm, I reckon I can find what you need. Might take a bit of time, is all. Cause this ain't a charity I'm running here. I get you what you want, but you'll have to do likewise for me. I'll track down literature on the ninja of the Far East. Uh, for your part, you're to bring me an underpore glyph. You find this inside Underpore Keep, a ruined castle situated in the South Shroud. Clear my deal? Then run along and fulfill your part of it. And what you're meant to do is run the dungeon Underpore Keep. I already have a recording of that dungeon, so I won't show that off again here. Um, if you're interested in that, you can look it up under the dungeons. Okay, Rovena, I got your glyph. Clear my dear, then run along and keep full for your part. Already done, as I said. Ah, good on you. This is exactly what I was after. You've honored your part of a bargain, so I'll do the same. And back to Gerald. Back to pester me so soon? Judging from a smirk on your face, I take it you've found what you need. A tome containing details on the life of a legendary ninja, Sasuke. Aye, this text is about the ninjas of the Far East, alright. But gods, what it, would it have killed the bugger what wrote it to use normal bloody words? It'll take me bleeding moons to get through this lot. Time I could be spending on kettles. Well, I try to make heads or tails of it all. Why don't you take this here pair of unfinished Yoshimitsu and try them out? As I mentioned before, they're still missing somewhat. But they're all there shape-wise, meaning they should serve you just fine as an ordinary weapon. Seeing as you're a ripe old ninja, mayhap you'll be able to feel out exactly what they want for. That's to say, get out there and fight some nasty foes as the ninjas of Far East must have done back in the day. There are sub-sub spawning grounds over in Western Lanosea to serve your needs. 
pit yourself against some stuff that shelf spine, shelf cloth, shelf cloth, and shelf tooth, eight of each, say, and come back to tell me what you've got, leaned. With information of a text and your first and experience, I reckon we solve this puzzle yet. Now, I think I do this without you. This is literally just kill mobs, and quite a few of them. So, I see you in a moment. Okay, got them. Don't forget to equip your ninja. your uh, relic weapon for using this, yeah? Back already? By a frown you're wearing, I take it you got nothing to show for your time with the fishbacks? Hmm, might be as you want for better sport. And not just the creature that'll give it to you. The Hydro that reigns over the fiends within Halatali. Nasty piece of work that. Try not to piss your breeches when you see it. Hydra can be confronted via the duty finder upon examining the quest destination situated by the entrance to Halatali in Eastern Funnelan. We made it quicker by now. As you can see, normally you now had to go to Halatali, but yeah. And the Hydra. Halt. Still the dungeon. Well, if you don't do it right, do it twice, right? Because last time I forget to, I forgot to equip my unfinished weapon, which I need to do for this boss to for it to count for the quest. Keeping with its boss. Be itself. Be close to the boss. Otherwise, you get a fear status effect. Which means you can't control your character. Okay, Gerald. Yeah, you're still alive? Why the hells do your adventures have to be so goddamn sturdy? I was bloody sure you'd be Hydra Dung by now. <sighs> but what's done is done. Or in this case, not done. Anyway, let's talk about the text you brought. It contains an account on a, how a far eastern ninja named Sasuke brought ninjutsu to Doma. Seems ninjutsu was invented in a land far to the east of Offord's shores, same island as where Sasuke grew up. The bloke was the best ninja about, so he gets secret orders or a summit to cross the sea and make his way to Doma. The life of a Doman's common folk was shite back then, what with a starving and poverty. The worst though was a bleeding tyrant what ruled the place. 
Well, being a charitable thought, what Sask is to do but teach a small for ninjutsu so they can win back their freedom. So your man trained some ninjas and together they boot the ruler's royal ass off the throne and put a dagger in his back for good measure. Well, with a dynasty dead, your ninjas go looking for the spoils of victory and what sh should they find in the palace vaults? Aye, a pair of Yoshimitsu. After that, a lot of them headed to the outlands of Doma to build a hidden village so to live as ninjas away from prying eyes. Tis very wrote a bit on the Yoshimitsu, enough that I know now what's wrong. Seems to rhyme about the smitting ain't about his members thickness. The daggers himself are too damn slim. See, the vampire's nice, have a good ho make a good host, and what you got now will slip between the mess man's ribs just fine. But Yoshimitsu was made to a folded steel that could pierce armor without shattering nor crumbling. A thick blade, aye. That's what you are now wanting for. If you can s as you can see, I done me research. I trust you also been pulling your weight, putting the relics to you use like I said? Well, go on then. Tell me what you've learned. Is that so? Aye, I'd wondered about that. Based on what we've gleaned from the text and your first in experience, I'll rework the relic as to improve your affinity with it. Hand it over for a second, will you? I hope you still have your other weapon. There, the deed's done. That leaves us with one last step. That is fully merging the old relic, the new host and the soul of a bearer. Aye, that's you. Only then can the weapon be restored to its former glory. But to do this, I need to fire what's hotter than the seven hells. And to keep such a fire alive and raging, I need the, the wind that's fiercer than the, uh, than the um, hangover I had last week. <sighs> you know what I mean. Just get me white hot ember, a howling gale, and a chunk of hyperfused ore. And I'll finish your bloody weapon. Ah, and I need me a bottle of Razatan quenching oil as well to cool it off. White hot ember, howling gale, and a chunk of hyperinfused ore can be obtained by defeating uh, Ifrit Heart, Garuda Heart, and Titan Heart, respectively. The bottle of Razatan quenching oil can be obtained by exchanging 15 Alagan tombstones or predicts. With Ariana, one of Ravena's assistants in Revenant's Toll. So I list for. Stupid that you have to do it in order. But okay. Anyway, I get the Hazatan quenching oil while I wait. You can't just. They couldn't just. Give me a list of do if with Garuda and Titan and let leave your order to me. No, I have to do them in, in order. If with Garuda Titan. Okay, and whenever you have a quest, um, you can find that under special arms. And Razatan quenching oil. Also, I want three tough Nairian mists. And here you can get the well, item level 120 stuff. Uh, I won't use it for because I have decided Desiree gets uh, no, no poetics item gear. Run just for the challenge. Because the Renya profited massively from the um, ironworks and later the Shire gear. Okay, but I cut this out of, for you and we see each other back at Gerald's in a van. Okay, finally done with that nonsense. Gerald, I brought your stuff. So you're back. Never doubted for a second you'd trounce all three primers and come back to pester me again. Alright then, let's see the how I taught Ember, the Howling Gale, and the Hyperfused Orb. 
Alright, these ought to get me levels of heat I need. Which leaves just the rise of quench in order for cooling things off afterwards. You got that too, I assume. You done your part. So I'll do mine. Watch now and try not to bat your eyelids. Ain't every day you get to see a relic reborn. <laughs> These gods given hands have worked another miracle. Feast your eyes on Yoshimitsu, just as they were in the days of yore. Tis a sight to move a man to tears, you lucky bastard. You'd better bloody well take care of them. And there's our Yoshimitsu. However, we're not quite finished with this, because this portly Moogle has a tip. The other day, when Gerald was deep in his cups, I overheard him mumbling something cryptic. Kubo, if you got a bottle of Tavnaiwian mist, you can infuse spirit into your relic at the furnace. I wonder what that means, Kubo. Meaning you use the furnace? To upgrade your relic to a relic weapon zenith. Gives you 10 more item levels and a fancy glow effect. Okay. Now, as you can see, now Jared has activated another quest, but that won't be today, because that is a quest line, a very long quest line, to upgrade your relic weapon Zenith into a Zodiac weapon. And with that, I end this episode. Until next time, I am Mace, and don't get lost. <laughs>